There's a base. There's a at the bottom of there. Three glow sticks. Hey, Slot, <laughs> guess what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Around that slot. <laughs> Swimming, yep. So you can actually kill them quite safely from being yep. underwater. Especially with your spear, you can just sit there and harpoon them. <laughs> Until you drown. Some iron. Yep. Hopefully this will set me up to get my pickaxe. Oh, uh, did you build a sword? What's that? You build an iron sword first? Did I? No. No? What did no. you build? Uh, I just haven't got enough iron yet. Oh. Ha! Poor man. Yeah. Uh, there's some more in the wall right there. Oh, here we go. I got seven in this chest. Seven there. <laughs> That'll do. Arms? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. Nope. That's a good chunk of iron in the beginning of the game. Oh, a spear. Alright. I'm in the spear. <laughs> now we're in business. These goggles crack me up. I keep forgetting I have them and seeing my guy and be like, oh me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know chest stack. That would've been good to know. Chest stack? Empty chests? Yeah, I guess you can't pick up a full chest anyways. That's that's uh, that's something that's kind of uh, kind of annoying is if you try to rebuild a house. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, like, you get to the point where you're like, I have 10,000 copper yeah. and I would like to make a house out of yeah. copper blocks, you <laughs> know. Gold floors, and then you realize you have to basically empty every chest. Yep. <laughs> Somehow move the contents. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna start a new world. <laughs> Ditch all this crap. Uh, oh, just a blink. Yeah, it's a little solitary blink route. Yeah, it just popped out. What's that thing next to it? Is it rock? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, it's rock. Before, uh, before a second there, I, I, I thought it, it, it had sort of a greenish glow to it. Mm -hmm. Just digging a straight. I'll say, but it goes by so fast when you're rewatching it, though, it's kind of like mind boggling. Yeah. Oh, it's not like it actually takes a long time. Well, I guess you can. Uh, yeah. When I did my first world on, on Terraria, I decided that at every height of the map, I wanted a tunnel straight across the entire world. Oh, yeah. And I built the first one, and then I gave up on it because it was just completely insane. Right. Because it was a small world, and it took me a couple hours of just digging a straight yep. tunnel to do it. <laughs> what the hell? The slime was... He's invincible. We're doomed! <laughs> oh. ah. Wow, what a bastard. Oh, Excellent. <laughs> I will bear the light. Hooray! Yeah, that's 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 nice about playing with two people. Oh yeah. You don't have to spend 10 gold or whatever for the mining helmet. Duh! <laughs> uh, I, I never used the mining helmet. I never did. Because I'm, I'm such a torch maniac yeah. that <laughs> my tunnels are usually pretty well lit. Why? Oh, that was weird. My mouse spazzed out. <laughs> Aha! Uh, 
I'll go up there and see if there's anything else in the... There's a bunch of copper up there. Yeah, copper is also good. Get some armor going. Mm -hmm. I also love that there's no degradation of item uh, stats. Like, you know, you don't have to repair. Yeah, that's... I like that too. I like that in general in games. Oh, because... yeah. Are you a uh, Diablo fan? Uh, let's put it this way. I'm I'm one of those people who don't get Diablo. Mm -hmm. I, I I really enjoyed playing through it single player by right. myself once, and then after I've beaten the boss, I'm like, okay, right. I'm, I finished Diablo. Right. And you know, most people are like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> What else is there to do? So that's that's like the kind that's 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 the way There's I like silver. Oh yeah, I uh, that's all I am with a lot of games, but the Diablo franchise is one that, in particular, like I don't mind playing through you know, dozens of times. Yeah, a, a lot of people are like that, and. Uh, uh, that, that's, that, that's that's not something I, I really understand, I guess. Yeah, and uh, story-driven games, um, I essentially never play through a game twice. If it uh, if you don't have, you know, multiple outcomes or why can't I get any ups in this jump? Like, what is wrong? <laughs> I'm hitting like an invisible boundary. Like I, <laughs> that is twisted. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think, I can't think of a game, but like, Deus Ex I'll play through probably multiple times just to see if, you know, being a more stealthy guy is more fun versus a balls out, you know, yeah, I have assault rifle kind of guy. I have a real problem with doing that because every time I try to, uh, replay a game to see the different outcomes, like the same way, I always, yeah, I always find myself just doing the same shit over and over. Yeah. It's like... Well, this seemed like the best course of action the first time yeah, around. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like the best course of action the second time around still. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I, I find it difficult to like, sort of get into the mindset of, I gotta do this just to see what happens. No, that's how I am with a lot of games. It just depends, it completely depends on the genre or the just the title in general. Um, like, like Mass Effect, yeah. for example. Uh, yeah. Since you do have to pick a class, it, it kind of leans itself, lends itself to wanting to play slightly different, you know? Yeah, the, the, I, I, I really love uh, the Mass Effect franchise just yeah. because I think the, the universe is just so rich and oh, uh, yeah. the storyline is really cool. But that's that's exactly one of those games where like, you know, I start a game and I'm like, well, let's see what happens if you play as a renegade. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh, no, none of these dialogue choices feel like something right. I would say now. No, <laughs> just, I always play... Like the, the, the Paragon <laughs> character. I never can play the evil character. See, uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of biased when it comes to like evil in video games because I personally don't like this idea that that a lot of games have that like evil is is a choice with no consequences. You right. know, it's it's usually just presented in this in this way that like uh, if you're super powerful. You can be as evil as you want, and nothing bad's gonna right. happen. And see, I don't like it, I'm, uh, because you know I'm, I'm kind of old school in that way. Where, like, for example, uh, a really good gangster movie, like uh, Scarface or something, you know, it's a it's a portrait of an evil character, and he's the protagonist, and you're rooting for him. But ultimately, uh, it makes a point about the. Uh, dangers of, you know, slipping into this kind of lifestyle where you make so many enemies that sooner or later it just comes back to haunt you. Right. Uh, there's not there's not a there's not a gangster movie, a really good gangster movie in existence where the protagonist doesn't essentially die in the end. And uh, uh, you know uh, the mafia that that game, uh, the original one, also. Uh, yeah. 
fantastic job on that. It, it wasn't part of the game that you die, but... Uh, the uh, last scene was essentially just a bunch of mob hitmen coming to kill you as you were like 60 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that I think is is uh, much more powerful, makes a much more powerful statement than just this idea that uh, you can be this ultra powerful jerk who gets away with everything. Right. So I, I, I kind of begrudge uh, writers in RPGs for always having, you know, not having the balls to yeah. actually write well, it's kind of It's kind of like how it is in Mass Effect, how it's, uh, you know, you're, you're the Spectre, so you're, um, you know, like Black Ops can kill anyone, no one cares, and I'm kind of like, that's kind of a cop-out. It's cool, you know, but like... Uh, Mass Effect is, is kind of not as guilty of the whole thing, just because in Mass Effect you get Paragon Renegade, it's not yeah. like... It's not good and evil. Yeah, it's not really a good and evil It's more like choice. the whole, like, chaotic good versus, or like, you know, what is it? Yeah, like, no, it's, it's, it's more, uh... uh can't even remember the three levels. It's more a choice of the, uh, like, the main choice is the, uh, the, the, the Renegade is just the, uh, you know, the, uh... Oh, unlawful good. That's what uh, I was thinking. What am I trying to say here? I know what I'm trying to say, but the, the saying is only coming to me in German right now. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, ends justify the means. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's the renegade character. Is basically what I'm doing may be atrocious, but I'm doing it to save the universe. Right. Has done. Let's see. I and believe... the Paragon character is more along the lines of uh, if we don't uh, uphold our values, then our enemies have destroyed what's important, whether they kill us or not. Yeah. So. Well, there's just an iron ore sitting over here. I'm trying to remember. I think the only thing I remember from German class in seventh grade is I think it's what Klausenzimmer and Badenzimmer. Classroom and bathroom. Uh, yep. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those classes that, like, in middle school, you essentially don't have to pass. Like, the teachers can just say, like, he didn't technically pass. Do you want to fail him or not, you know, to your parents? And they'll can just say yes or no. So when I figured that out, those little extra classes I never tried at all. <laughs> uh, when I was doing high school, I had to take a language. And... Yeah, I took two years of Spanish in high school. It was like, yeah, I, I, I did Spanish for a while, and I was awful at it, mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe it was the teacher or something. Mm -hmm. Because I'm usually not bad at languages. Uh, I, I'm pretty good at the pronunciation and everything, I'm just, I had a lot I, of I problems time even with my English, ass down so. and, and, and learning words, you know, it's, yeah. it's, just, it's just difficult. No, yeah, my problem is just like the conjugation, that kind of deal. Oh yeah, because I uh, I never have problems with the words. Eventually, I switched my accent. language to German, <laughs> which was fantastic. <laughs> Seems so like the right choice in the get go. I, I just I just sat there in class and just, and the teacher would 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 always look at me like, you know, like <laughs> is what I'm saying right? And then be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, then I took the AP, like advanced placement exam, to get college credit for it. Nice. <laughs> Scored like highest in the state, it was ridiculous. <laughs> you know guys, this really isn't fair. <laughs> yeah, I feel like surely they've probably come around on that and put in some kind of ruling for that. I, I don't know, I mean... Because like my county, they didn't cut me any. They didn't cut me any slack in English class when I didn't speak yeah. English. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just payback. Because I, like the county I live in, used to be like 100% all you know white Americans like 20 years ago, and now oh, oh wow, now the majority is uh, Hispanic, and that's you know in Atlanta, and. I feel like surely they can't take Spanish class and get away with that. That just seems crazy. Uh, I suppose if they're supposed to be bilingual, why not? I mean, yeah, but these are kids who really can't speak English. They can just speak Spanish, and if they can take a Spanish class, it seems kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. They should speak English. 
and uh, honestly, that's, that's something that, you know, from my personal experience, being someone who's wow, <laughs> just like five demon eyes swarming me from all sides, and I only nice. have the spear, you know, which is a directional attack. It doesn't. It doesn't keep them off you. That's why I died the last time. I'm going back to a sword. <laughs> yeah. This is just not safe. <laughs> okay, I, I snatched your money and I'm running at you. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, someone who's made the experience of going from one country to the next. Uh, you know, basically, uh, I mean, I had... <laughs> There's a gold on the ground. Hooray! Uh, you know, uh, as someone who's made the experience of, of having uh, moved from one country to the next and, and essentially having to learn a new language, mm -hmm. to me it just seems like uh, learning a language in school is really absurd. Yeah. Uh, you really have to go to a place where the language is spoken every day and uh, right. do it. After a year, you're fluent in it. Well, not perfect, but right. you know, close enough. I can make a bathtub and a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, no. It's not <laughs> Uh, I had a life crystal too, I really didn't use it. I might have survived. I want of throwing knives. Let's try those out. Sawmill. Whoa. I am a sawmill. For advanced woodcrafting. Wow. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. What the <laughs> hell? That's awesome. Oh, we're gonna have to move the table, I think. Come on. Damn, this thing must be big. Yeah, we're gonna have to move the, uh, the table or something. I guess we can put it right the... there. Damn, that's oh, yeah. huge. Whoa. That's nice. You can make like. Chest of drawers and stuff. Balloon. Nice. Wow, there's just a, whole, a whole bunch of stuff I didn't know about. That's all new. Yeah, that's awesome. Huh. A keg. Used for brewing ale? Yeah, I'll say I, I got one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, we need this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that only uh, face one direction? Oh, man. We're gonna have to build a whole new ale room. Ah, oh, let's put it in the mine shaft. Oh, well, so yeah, I just looked down there. I was like, that's a cellar. That's where that's going. Yeah, let's put it in the cellar. We can, we can build a cellar, in fact. Works for me. I got my iron pick. Yeah. Uh. I like that, having the sawmill and everything. That reminds me of Old Small Mine. Like the whole, like, you gotta go to the loom, you gotta go to the forge, you gotta go to the, you know, anvil. Yeah, honestly, uh, this is one of the reasons why I love this game so much is because it, it, it also reminds me a lot of Ultima. Mm -hmm. uh, I still play Ultima online sometimes on uh, free servers that oh, yeah. you know, are heavy on roleplay. Yeah. Because despite it being so old, it's still. The only MMO that really uh, has that kind of customizability oh, yeah. for, for the landscape and everything. Um, Star Wars Galaxy. I don't know if you ever played that, but that was very much in the vein of Ultima Online. It, it used to be, but... Uh, yeah, back in the day. The uh, reason why I didn't really like Star Wars Galaxies was because... It, Star Wars Galaxies was this uh, huge experiment into... How do we make people roleplay? Yeah. They really wanted to, people to roleplay. 
and uh, their, their, their answer to the question was essentially, we're going to reward roleplay behavior mm-hmm. with uh, items and uh, with items and bonuses yeah, yeah. and whatnot. So they, they came up with a whole bunch of systems, like uh, you had to go to the tavern to replenish your health, yeah. and uh, you had to uh, eat certain foods to get buffs yep. and so on. Now, yeah, I had two characters. One was a master image designer, and I pulled in Bank, just skin field plastic surgery, which is awesome and hilarious. And I also yeah. had a master fencer ranger who would just kick the crap out of birds and get the avian meat to sell it to the doctors and get the free buffs. Yeah, that, that and and I was that a mayor of the town. I had a, I had a combat medic doctor, mm-hmm. just a straight up healer. And uh, that was that was pretty fun. Uh, but the thing that was just killing me about that game was uh, the fact that they tried so hard to make all of that stuff, uh, you know, role play friendly and. Yeah. and focus it all on roleplay, ultimately just ended up making the game this grindy mess, you know, yeah. because uh, in essence, uh, the fact that, that there was a food that gave you a huge buff if it's like a master chef made it, mm-hmm. it was a cool idea, but did that really help the role players? you know? Right. <laughs> no, it helped the people who would, you know, Make an alt character that was a master chef, then yeah. mine for a couple hours to make huge amounts of that food. I mean, you can play any of the end content type types uh, in the high level stuff without getting the high level food buff, getting like, the, like you know, buying ridiculous amounts of armor that would you know degrade and repair and they'd fall to pieces. So you had to put so much money into the player economy just to stay afloat. Yeah, exactly, and that that was. Uh, Ultimately, it just it just ended up basically all these systems were were like absolutely murdering oh, yeah. the people who just wanted to have a nice Star Wars experience mm-hmm. instead of instead of grinding their way through this game at yeah. every every point. And that's 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 why I stopped with it because like playing a doctor alone was just obnoxious, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you uh, you could make some good money by just sitting around and buffing people. Oh yeah, just sitting in a town and yeah, but, you, know. you know. Then they give you all kinds of lip if your buff wasn't up to snuff. Oh, I know. Like what? <laughs> this buff only buffs my whatever mine by one thousand two hundred. <laughs> Every other doctor who charges ten thousand credits. <laughs> Offset by 1,400! You're a frog! <laughs> like, what? And they call a GM in and the GM would go, uh, and? Uh, that never happened to me, but I had a bunch of people just fucking railing at me. Right. This. I was like, dude! Oh, you can store stuff in these barrels. Ah. Huh. Cool, I'll take this chest away then and just get these barrels down here. Seems to make more sense. I don't know how I one-shotted that piece of wall. That was skill, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I've, I've been trying to abuse the fact that one space holes and walls now automatically fill yeah. up. <laughs> to save some wall. <laughs> Starting to make some proper armor. Yeah, I have a helmet. I just have my, my glasses hiding it. It looks oh, so can... stupid. Yeah. Because you can have the vanity item, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, the, uh... Once you get the tailor, you can buy, like, familiar wig. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess a loom. Anything back with your old head. Uh, yeah, we need to make a loom. That makes sense. I was like, don't I have a bunch of silk? Oh, yeah, we should make it there. Yeah, I, I was thinking, I was like, something... Something wrong is happening here. Uh, we need more room. Yeah, we need some actual rooms now. I didn't think this was going to happen like this. You want to expand right there where you're at? Uh, I'm going to build another house. Okay. Just make a town. Yeah, I'm down. What the hell? Oh, was... oh my god. What? <laughs> How many? What, what kind of clothes can you make? No, I, I mean, I think 
think you have to have the leather to make, um... Oh, I guess you make the cloth and then make the clothes. I don't know, I'm, I'm experimenting, this is pretty cool. Let's see, I'm just checking. Oh my god. How many clothes are available? Uh, so far none that I've seen, but a bunch of other really cool stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you make? Oh yeah, sweet. Oh, Banners? Awesome. Yeah. That is great. Wow, that's awesome. There we go. Nifty. Wow, that's oh, cool. This is this is starting to look way cooler than anything I've built before. I know. <laughs> These I'm new all about items this. Really, uh, are really uh, punching up the uh, the coolness of these talents. Definitely. Here you go. I got some. Depth your cool quotient. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where they go? You can put them in your vanity slot. Yeah. I don't... Oh, here they go. Or social slot is what they're called. Oh, yeah. In case we get into a post-apocalyptic, you know, road warrior scenario, we might need them. Alright, drive around, look for go juice. <laughs> Yeah, that was that, that happened in my uh, Pathfinder group a couple uh, last week. Uh, at around third level, I convinced the entire party to buy smoked goggles. <laughs> it's a low-level item that's just like a really dark goggle, mm -hmm. and it's. Uh, Relatively cheap, not very, not a very good item. Yeah. But basically, what it is there for is it protects you from uh, like gaze attacks. If you have them on, it's a lot easier to withstand them. So these stupid goggles have just been sitting around in our inventory for like I don't know, five levels, right? Dozens of sessions. <laughs> and then we finally run into an enemy with a gaze attack, and I was like, oh, yes! <laughs> Remember those goggles I made you buy? <laughs> you have any uh, cobwebs? Uh, yes, I do. Hold on. I want to make the bed with them. You! You put cobwebs in your bed. <laughs> God, that'd be so uncomfortable. Yeah. That slime is killing me. I'll say that guy is just getting worked over by that slime. Is the guy even still living in this in this building? Is he Good, just like it's living in our awesome. Is he just like living in our workshop? We're gonna share a bed because we're uh we're comfortable that way. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to start allocating uh, what is going to be what? Like do we have a living quarters house and a workshop kind of house? Yeah. Uh, 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 or is it just whatever? This is, this is just going to sort of grow organically, I yeah. think. So we'll just play by ear. I, I was going to put living quarters in this, in this house here some.